Get it. Yo, what's up guys? I'm Deflo and today I'm going to be showing you how I made my Blink remix to Keswick and Protohype Blink. There's not really much to it because the samples that they gave were so good. But I'm going to show you anyway the process of what I did. So let's start off with the synths. Well, actually, let's start off with the voice because the original voice was like this. So, it's in your eyes, a spark of light that shines into my soul. It's actually like this. I just put an isotope trash on it. I don't know why, but I just did. It's in your eyes, a spark of light that shines into my soul. Gives it like a, a metallic touch. And then I transposed it down seven and put the formats on 30 and envelope or whatever, whatever, wherever it sounds good. Cause I just wanted to give it like a different feel to the original. I love the original, but I just wanted it to be completely different. And as for the synths on the intro, I made this. <laughs> of OTT. This is all from a this is all from a eighties I'll show you. See Joe Joe Geo Steerum uh, sounds eighties retro wave so good for like old school sounds. So all of the sounds in the intro are basically from the eighties. It, it's got a very eighties vibe. It's also got this. It's like a pad. And then there's like a bass, like a... This is from a cymatics chord. I don't think it sounded like this when I opened it up, but... To me it sounds very vintage, which is what I was going for. So they gave us a lead which is this so just everything together just sounds like this obviously you have a bit of vinyl crackling in the background to give it that 80s or 70s or whatever it's from feel i just wanted this to sound old I have this little drum loop here. Like super old school and um, I put it in reverse here. So it comes in like a little reverse thing. Yeah. So I don't know why I had that muted, it's supposed to be. Okay. The whole track literally consists of like the intro bit that I've just shown you and then on the drop it's just one sound and then it's the same sound again. I wanted to keep this track simple. It's the same sound again, um, just slightly uh, with a bit more FA and more like a higher tonality to it. But the main sound is obviously coming in here like filters. I'll show you the serum patch so you guys can do it for yourself. It's a beefy Reese from, um, I put it in user, but it's from uh, a, SDR sound pack or something and then this Bay 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 is from the future future bass wave tables from Cymatics and it's like not even FMing it's just like in volume I think so they're both like 
volume, not FM, to each other. It gives it a nice, really nice sound. This is the vocal, the vocal filtered there. Obviously, as you can hear, it's like coming up. Like the sound is just like really really nice like harmonic sound um it's got pretty much i think i took off it's not supposed to have any lows so. well, it does have lows and then there's a sub underneath i think yeah, so it's got like the lows from the actual sound and then the lows from the sub. Or maybe the automation isn't doing, I don't know. But it probably has both. <laughs> yeah, I remember that this sound didn't have like quite that much lows. It was more like a high kind of sound. So I just added the sub. Didn't, uh, didn't need to take off the lows really so yeah and then on the background of the drop there's this so and with the beat it sounds like super like old school kind of um sounding that's what i wanted <laughs> So you got like white noise when it drops. It's always like a bit of white noise in the background. I think it's probably got a crowd noise. Or maybe it's just, what's this, a ride? Yeah, it's just got a ride. That's the um, the actual vocal, but then instead of being pitched down seven, it's transposed up five. So it's like. I really don't know why I put the isotope trash on the vocal. I just I I, I just put it on, but like a really low like halfway dry and then it's like some weird setting that i did ages ago i don't really know how to use it that much but i like put this thing on ribbon and then just touched it a bit and i saved this thing but it's like i put it on bass sounds and stuff i just put it on the vocal for some reason <laughs> Again, there we've got like a bit of redux coming in as you can see there that pinpoint coming up is redux yes. yeah i don't know that's what i did is the lead that uh Keswick and Protohype gave to me in the remix package so I think a really nice lead. I wanted to use it like as much as possible so I just left it behind everything that I made.
As you can see, the track was really easy for me to remix because the samples, the vocal is amazing. So it was very like naturally done. It was quite simple to grasp an idea for the remix because the samples were amazing, you know. I know it's not a fantasy, but I still think I'm dreaming. So please just look into my eyes and try not to blink now, baby. <laughs> Okay, so this is a technique like you get the vocal, the actual vocal, so you get like. Okay, so one thing that I like to do is I get like a part of the vocal, so maybe I'll get this bit here, or any bit, like this, say, this little bit here. It's in your eyes. So when it says eyes, I'll put a reverb on it and turn it up the full way, and then I'll make an audio track. And I'll, here where it says external in, I'll choose the track that it is, which is Audio 32. And I press record. And I'll record the reverb. So I'll record the, the tail of the reverb, which essentially will sound like this later on. Once you reverse, well actually, you, you get the reverb and then you reverse it. So it sounds like this. Well, this is the actual woman's voice, but uh, the singer. See? So it's like you're not actually using risers or anything from uh, sample packs or anything. You're using her actual voice, which is way better. So now, baby. And the second drop of the song is exactly the same as the first one. Just with um, a little pause here where I took off all of the... I think I did it on the master. I took on the master. I took off all of the um wait. Try not to blink now, baby. Yeah, see on the master I put this EQ to switch on and it literally cuts off like up to uh, fucking I don't know where like loads of highs and loads of lows. And it just has like a small space where it's sounding through. Oh, baby. And then it comes back in, obviously. Got the lead going on in the background there, like through the drop because it's about to end, so I left the lead on in the background there. Put a ping pong delay on the master at the end so that it like kind of echoes out and yeah that's basically it. You can hear my dog barking in the background probably, but it's all good. <laughs>